Some very practical tips include things like don't microwave in plastic, avoid canned foods, uh, eat fresh foods, but try to buy organic. Environmental Working Group has some very good lists of the, the um, fruits and vegetables that have the most pesticides and those that have the least, so you can decide um, which you want to purchase organic. One thing that I recommend is that um, if you don't need your cash register receipt, don't take it. Because cash registers receipts these days, those that have that shiny coating that you can write on with your fingernail, they're called thermal receipt paper. That coating is bisphenol A, which is an estrogen, and it's not bound to the paper, so it easily migrates into your wallet or your purse on your hands. They've done studies in um, hand-to-mouth behavior and how it goes directly into your bloodstream. So that's potentially a very high exposure route. So if you don't need the receipt, don't take the receipt. And if I was somebody working with these sorts of receipts, I would wear gloves. Until the government can tell us, or forces industry to tell us what's in fragrances, I would avoid anything that has fragrance in the ingredient list. They often contain phthalates, which is an anti-androgen that has been shown to have effects in males in particular. And the phthalates are in the fragrance because they help the fragrance last longer, in part because it's a carrier to bring the fragrance into the body through the skin. Take care when remodeling because um, adhesives in carpets and paints and a lot of building materials have endocrine disruptors. So do what you need to do to avoid breathing those in as you're tearing things down. Taking measures to reduce your exposure to endocrine disruptors can reduce levels of some of them in your body, particularly those like the plastics that are shorter lived, that your body metabolizes and excretes quickly within a couple of days. Other chemicals, those that build up in body fat, metals, are longer lasting and can be in the body for years, so they are harder to get rid of. If we don't begin addressing this now, the already skyrocketing rates of diabetes and obesity autism, ADHD, Alzheimer's, um, thyroid disorders, immune problems, asthma, all of these endocrine-related disorders are going to continue to increase. And this is a huge burden on families. It's a physical burden, it's an emotional burden, it's a financial burden. We're becoming a caretaker society where we're caring for our children and our elders at the same time. And it is draining the energy in the economy of families and countries in the entire world.